Today, what I'm going to show you here is a good hip flexor stretch. Now, it's a stretch for the muscle, but it's also a really good hip mobility exercise. Uh, I show this to a lot of my patients here in the clinic, and I've got to send a video to someone today. Couldn't find a good one on YouTube, so I'm going to film my own for you at home. Hope you can use this. What we want is a heavy resistance band. Hopefully, you've got one of these at home. If you don't, grab one from your local store or online on eBay. They're very cheap and effective to use. Uh, we want it to be nice and strong. You also need something heavy to tie it around. Uh, my table is just heavy enough to demonstrate this with. So, I'm pop a loop through and pull the end of the band out. What you want to do is, with the effective hip, which generally I'll just get my patients to do this off both hips, is you want to slide the foot through the band, put that right up into the hip crease, and what you want to do is take a good amount of tension on the band until you feel that pulling back on the hip, and you're going to drop the hip down into a hip flexor stretch like you would. Just show you that from a different angle now. So we've got the band pulled right into a hip crease there, and you want to lunge forward from there. The hip should feel like you're getting a stretch in the hip flexor, and it's tractioning your hip joint, the ball, back in the socket. From there, you can do some little oscillations into hip flexion, like so. You can just hold and get a good traction stretch. You can change the angle of the stretch and get a good hip abduction stretch also. Um, and there's lots of things you can do with the band, but essentially what I want you to do is feel a good stretch in the hip flexor, but also get that traction effect. Um, it's important that you have good footwear on or a nice balanced surface. Uh, if you have any knee issues, you can put a pillow underneath the knee for this one also. As always, if you've got an injury like this, it's important to get checked by your own practitioner and make sure that this is safe and effective for yourself. But for me and my patients, this one is really effective at alleviating stress in the hip joint, uh, stretching the hip flexors, and also just keeping great mobility in the area. It's also a great warm up for exercises involving the lower limb. Give it a try at home and let me know in the comments how you find it.